Hi, uh, this is Jamila Hassoun. Uh, I am from Iraq. Um, I just came as a refugee at uh, 2009. Actually, I left Iraq at uh, 2005 and uh, lived in Jordan for five years. And then by the help of United Nations, I came to U.S. as a refugee. Uh, I was an anesthesiologist in my country. Uh, I finished a medical school, which is about six years. I work in anesthesia for uh, more than 20 years uh, in Iraq. Here uh, in America, although I have experience in uh, the uh, medical fields, it's very hard to enter the system here because uh, I have to pass so many uh, steps here and it's not easy for me. My name is Mimi Wu and I am the program coordinator of AFACD. Uh, it's African and American Friendship Association for Cooperation and Development. Our organization mainly helps foreign trained professionals get back into their profession. Most of the professionals are doctors from all over the world, uh, about from 49 different countries. We have a shortage of physicians here. We need physicians here and we are not utilizing or integrating these resources. These people are resilient, these people are highly talented and these people are highly skilled. For example, Jamila Hassoun, who came from Iraq, she has 25 years of experience as an anesthesiologist. She can even give anesthesia to newborn, to geriatrics, she has that range. And yet, she's not a physician, uh, she's not an anesthesiologist here. She is working as an interpreter currently at the moment. The system is such that you cannot get into a residency. So this is my passion that, I mean, you are, we, United States, is losing out on highly talented, skilled, educated, experienced physicians. Advantages of getting these doctors is that they are willing to go to go out and work in rural areas of the United States. They say that for them, rural areas, there's nothing so rural about rural United States. There's water, there's electricity, yeah. there are buildings, there are cars, there's access. So you, they don't even consider this as rural areas. So they are willing to go out and work where the shortages are. Newcomers or new Americans, they face uh, so much difficulty in accessing healthcare. So when it comes from, when the education comes from within their own community, from these doctors from their own communities, they listen to them, and then they know how to access the healthcare system. So thereby, it will reduce a lot of disparities in their own communities. You can pass these exams, they're not hard at all. I don't know, I'm not thinking of. No, don't think like that. The thing is that, you know, I will tell you Sometimes I, I, I'm like, you know, I'm so ambitious and so anxious to, to do the exam and after that, oh, it's a long way. But that's why I want you to come every Thursday, so you see people and you get motivated. Yeah, well, I saw so many doctors. After you finish, like, the uh, USMLE, uh, there, there will be another step, which is application and uh, interview, and maybe I will be accepted or not. That's the hard thing. You have a lot of talent, so I, yeah. we don't want this talent, you know, yeah. to, to be wasted. Because you can do much more than being an interpreter. Being an interpreter, it's yeah. easy. For you, it's very, very easy. Yeah. But, you know, you can still do much more because you have a lot of yeah, talent. Of course, so. yeah. I try to take, uh, like, uh, applying to have a master's degree in nursing, uh, to be a nurse practitioner in anesthesia. Uh, and when I applied, they told me, no, you need to have uh, a bachelor's degree in nursing. Actually, they don't, uh, they didn't take uh, in consideration my, uh, my, uh, uh, my uh, certificate, my uh, license, and uh, my experience. We just need to have some time and uh, uh, some support to be, uh, to be again uh, as a career. 
uh, even we don't we don't want to be a specialist again we can but we can work with the with the team like of anesthesia of our field so we can give uh, our my our experience our uh, services to people. Uh, I feel myself I can do everything the nurses can do and uh, actually I'm watching uh, them now like, like while doing interpreting. I, I can do uh, anything they, they do actually. Maybe uh, we need some education how to be in the system, how to use computer in the system, that's all. But uh, other things uh, it's easy for, for, uh, for me uh, so that's why uh, I, I thought they will accept me because I was a doctor, but well, I surprised, they told me, no, we need a nurse. I'm doing interpreting now. Uh, it's easy job, actually, not stressful, and I'm enjoying my time, and uh, they think I, I am here, I'm with the family, uh, and uh, looking for my, for my children to grow up and continue their education. And uh, this is the, the final aim for me to, to have uh, no other things actually. For me, uh, it's okay because uh, I tried, but now it's okay for me. Uh, thank you. For the future life for our children, mm -hmm. I wish they will have a better life than us. Yeah. Because my life, uh, my life, like since my graduation, even be my, before my graduation, uh, I faced so many wars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since I was uh, 22 till now. Yeah, about for more than 30 years we are in wars. Yeah. Yeah, so many wars with the neighbors, with civil wars, and uh, we are lucky we are alive. Actually, I thank God for for to be alive. That's so true. many people, innocent people, had been killed for nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>